census came out. The mm -hmm. results for it came out. Yes, what a... God, I just... I just I love... wish I... I just wish I knew about it earlier. Oh, really? I did, yeah, I, I didn't know. I took it last year. Yeah, yeah I took I it last, last year. Um, I just I, like... Because I, I would have... Because I would have done it. Yeah, well, this is... This is... Yeah. Honestly, it's really good that, like, a lot of people were like, oh, I didn't know this was happening, because now for this year, it'll be even more of a, um, we'll get more information, which is always, always great. Yeah. I am just so, like, yeah. impressed and amazed by ARMY. Like, I was reading this, whole, like, the whole thing, and I was just like, yo, we're awesome, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> I was just like, damn, like, we're educated. Like, even, like, the top 10, like, career um list i was like engineering's on there computer science is on there like obviously the arts are on there i was just it's to me it's like it's just amazing to the see. representation that's on there is actually amazing yeah yeah uh, i just mm -hmm. it, it's such a beautiful um thing to like look at the diversity of army and be you know because we're so criticized all the time for being, you know, these young girls who don't know anything about anything. <laughs> and now I'm excited to do it next year. Yeah. Here's I wish I knew about I, it earlier. I am a sucker for a good pie chart. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, st I think I've said this before, but like I study like politics in school and the census is like a, a big thing. I am a sucker for a good pie chart with mm -hmm. like numbers and data, right? <clears throat> So, like, so if we're talking in, like, a general sense, like, when you have the census of, like, a country, it's supposed to tell you, like, the demographic, um, age, um, composition, race I composition. I that there are um, 602 that answer that are over 60. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> like my mom! Yeah. So there's race <laughs> race composition age composition and basically it like you you're supposed to like say how many people live in your family socioeconomic status and why they do that is that it can it helps them to allocate the budget and um which uh funds go to which community based on the population right so i yeah I, like i like numbers and stuff like that right and why i think it's just it that it's really important and it's really really cool to did this is that i actually have like the co because i wrote it down um it was a collaborative collaborative project uh, between our research BTS Pangtan scholars with the promotional partners on Wings with Love and uh, Pangtan Ami uh, documentary team, right? Um, I think that it is important that we, if, if this week has taught me anything is that like nobody has us like we have us. Yeah. So I think that it's important that like we take control of the narrative. Um, in the way that we're represented and in the way that we're talked about. Uh, this also helps a lot with like certain research papers that I know are going to be coming out about ARMY and BTS um, mm -hmm. based on the way that and based on the way that fandom and uh, participatory action is like done in this fandom. So like, for example, like if you're wondering, like just um, beyond the, just beyond looking at the makeup of everything be like, okay, that's cool. Army is composed of this and this and this. So one of the questions that asked on the survey is when did people become an army, right? So for example, um, in 20, based on the responses that they got in 2017, 22.26% became army in 2017. And in 2018, it was 21.43%. And those were the highest uh, percentages um, between 2013 and 2020, right? If I have a researcher interested on like doing a paper about BTS, I can look at this quantitative like information. I can look about look at these numbers and then I can be like, hmm, what happened in 2017 and 2018 that allowed for this many people to join the fandom at this point in time? And then with this, like with these numbers, you can go back and you can add actual like stories to it, like what happened, what albums came out, what like what happened. So that's really I like somebody who researches, loves research, yeah. like oh, it, it was so yeah. good. It's so good it's so good um yeah no it's it's i i enjoyed it i like read through the whole i was making up 
um, paper titles, making up research titles <laughs> in my head while doing this. Yeah. Um, and it's really amazing because I wrote it down. So 400, more than 400,000 people uh, responded to the survey, um, 100 plus countries, and it was uh, done in like 46 languages. So, which is shout out to yeah. translators. Yeah. yeah, shout out to yeah. my peeps. Man, Army Census and everybody who participated. Like, yeah, I, I'm i really excited to like continue this and like gain even more information about this fandom uh yeah. just like over time like the 2021 is going to be extremely interesting i think just like based on like what has happened through the the past like three months yeah We're only three months in holy shit um <sighs> you know like it's it's so interesting and i actually wrote down a quote because i just i like based on like last week and this week i was like that this just like sums up what what we were talking about um, on top of their ability to support, uh, in support of BTS and their music, they have used influence to make a difference in the world. And if the gender identity of the people doing this is female, that should be celebrated, not ridiculed. Mic drop. Yeah. Who yeah. runs the world? Girls. Yeah. Girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah. I just, I, 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 I loved it. And like the, the quote that you brought up to, I, because I think it was 50 point something percent. Um, am I lying? It was, wait, I have it written down. I don't there, know. I'm, there was yes. more of the under 18 uh, or un, under 18. Yeah, so it's 50.31 percent yeah. 50. um, uh, are under 18. And my thing is, instead of like, saying that instead of us having this narrative that like oh like it's a bunch of young screaming teenagers how about we change the narrative to be like oh it's a bunch of first of all there's nothing wrong with being a screaming teenage girl for exactly. like if you want to into mm -hmm. that um but, but how about we change the narrative and we're like okay it's all of these young women spreading good in the world like mm -hmm. how, how how about that how like <laughs> How about that? But also, like, when it comes to, like, a research project like this, there are, like, certain, like, limitations that you need to take into con into consideration. So, for example, um, I think it was, like, the over 60, there was, like, 602 responses. You also have to take into consideration that people over 60 are not necessarily going to be on Twitter. Yeah. And, um, which is the main platform platform through which all of this the survey was disseminated so um it's like if if you're a researcher then you can you can come up with certain like hypotheses you're gonna be like, okay this is gonna be filled with a lot of younger people um who are under 18 because those who are more those are the ones who are most likely to be on social media or be on social mm. media when we're trying to spread um this thing so but yeah overall i loved it i like went through it like so many times yeah um, it was so good yeah. it's so good the, the pie the pie charts yeah if you want if you if you want to like take a look a look at it um i think it's bts census army census.com yeah I yes i'm yeah, gonna have it uh, in, the, in the description well. as well yeah the yeah. all yeah. of it's, the it's very, links just, um, yeah if you just want to take they, they say like the top 10 countries they do a lot of like Stuff like that so. there's tons and tons of breakdowns and it's yeah yeah it's it's oh it's really fun it's so good it's so good so, so i'm good. i'm so excited for, i'm excited for the research papers that are going to come out because i just too. know i just know it's yeah. gonna be so fun like i, I, I was like scrolling through like all the comments and stuff and there was like already got my research paper going and I was, <laughs> i'm like yes <laughs> Yes. I'm so ready. So I'm ready for all those like publications and like master students and bachelor yeah. students. <laughs> like, come on, I'm ready. Let's yes. go. Let's go. Uh, we got a new Weavers magazine article. Sadly, I wasn't able to read it. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? What happened? Um. Okay, I wanted to talk about the Weavers article because I think. I can like phrase my words properly. I think that what BTS and ARMY are doing with artists and fan interactions uh, should be closer examined because I don't think it's ever been done in the way that they're doing it, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have not read the first article, so essentially like 
they contacted a lot of like fan fan run accounts or like fa fan base accounts and just like talk to them about how they were passing um the quarantine so research bts like the purple map um they were in it uh somebody men mentioned bangtan academy which i'm a part of where we studied korean they were in it um a lot of army magazine like they were in it um i think the initiative to like reach out to people who are actually involved in army and who are like we're, we're here every day and for like the artists or like the artists like publication and weavers magazine to actually like reach out to those fans to to talk to them to want to hear about and and the the thing is, like, a lot of these fan bases who end up, t like, having interviews with Weavers Magazine talk about how, like, nice they were and they just wanted to, like, learn about them and, like, see what they were doing. Um, and I don't think that that's ever been done before. Or or at least, you know what, let me say that. I haven't been around to see if that's been done yeah. like this or not. But this is the first time that I've seen it on, on this scale. So For sure, yeah. Um, I agree. Yeah. I, I, I was so like when that came out, cause I, if I follow like, obviously like research BTS and Ben yeah. 10 Academy and yeah. like, I follow all of these people. And so, you know, and I have been following them for a long time. And so when they were like, yeah, we were part of Weaver's magazine, I was so excited because yeah, you know, it's like you're excited for them. Exactly. Like, you, you just know that I'm excited for you. Like, I'm so happy right? for you. Uh, uh, and especially, especially yeah. like those ones, because of the fact that they, they put in like, if you've never like seen research BTS or those like purple maps, like definitely mm -hmm. check them out because I think it's, everybody's seen them. I, I, I feel oh, like you can't be on army Twitter. I, I, I feel like you so. can't be on army Twitter. <laughs> if you're not seeing so. the purple map, even if you don't follow yeah, like, <laughs> Even if you don't follow Research BTS directly, yeah. somebody on your timeline has to have retweeted a purple map. And if they did not retweet a purple map, we need to check. We need to talk. <laughs> need to talk. <laughs> You're on the wrong side of Army Twitter. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah I'm no, so happy yeah. for her because, you know, like, just the fact that she is so, like, involved in the fandom to, to the point mm -hmm. where, like, you know obviously she's creating these like maps of like when we mm -hmm. trend something or when something's happening and and the importance mm -hmm. of all of those things and why we do those things and you know like how long they like all of that is so so important to to our fandom mm -hmm. and so to have not only like weavers magazine and for them to like reach out to these armies and be like hey like we want to talk to you you're the fans like tell us what's mm -hmm. been going on tell us the things that you're noticing and 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 why they're so important to talk about and so yeah like having both of these things this week like the army census and the article i was just like army love is just flowing <laughs> i'll be here for it yeah which is i i'm just very like interested listen i'm gonna when the papers about when the research and scholarly articles about bts and army start to come out in 10 years i'm gonna be like i was there <laughs> because yeah. i really i really do think that like low-key we're kind of revolutionizing the way that like artists and fandoms or fan bases interact with each other because like big kid is watching you they're <laughs> If you if you didn't think that they were watching before, like I swear, they know everything that goes on in this fandom. If you did not think that they were watching before, yeah, then like they are now yeah. because they know specifically like who to like reach out to and who to talk to. Which so is like there has to, I don't know if, I don't know if it's Namjoon's friend, his friend, but mm -hmm. um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's pretty it's it's pretty amazing actually. Hundred percent. Which is why I keep saying like we we need to be the ones to control the narrative because like if we don't tell our stories, like other people are gonna come in and try to fuck it up, and that is not that is not what we want. So no, because that's yeah. not that's not the narrative. That's the reality, which is why it's yeah. You're mm -hmm. absolutely right. Like we need to control the narrative because. Yeah people saying shit about this fandom who don't know what they're talking about it no in what world mm. i don't think so yeah
not on my watch. It's, it's, it's a fun read. If you haven't if you haven't um read it yet, definitely uh read it. It's it's fun. It's a light read, so yeah. yeah. I hope the weaver I hope the weavers editors and writers are getting paid well. I mean I'm sure that they are, but still, I'm sure. <laughs> like, no, but I agree. Every, 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 article, every time an article comes out, I'm just like, you know how to do your job very well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!